What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I bring you guys some crazy, jacked up news of more young people doing incredibly stupid things. There's nothing like working hard and buying what you want. And, and the feeling of coming home and enjoying the things that you work hard for. There are people out in the world, and of course I'm sure many of you have come across people like this who have no issue taking from you what is not rightfully theirs. These criminals, these thieves, in, in my opinion, deserve to be prosecuted to the limits of the law. You know, it's one thing to borrow, it's one thing to ask, but when you take something that's not yours, and especially if you hurt or kill someone in the process, I think you should be under the jail. And with that being said, it's another situation where a young person, believe it or not, here in Atlanta, has killed someone over a fucking PlayStation 4. I'll drop a link in the description. Georgia teen sentenced to 40 years in fatal shooting over a PlayStation 4. Daniel Zietz listed his PlayStation 4 for $280 on Craigslist. He had three names of potential buyers to choose from, and he chose one. The avid gamer who was part of a professional gaming team would meet his potential buyer in a parking lot of his Roswell, Georgia apartment building to complete the deal. On a September evening in 2014, he approached a car with a young man in the front seat, his teenage girlfriend in the passenger seat, and a 16-month-old baby in the back seat. When Zeke showed the gaming console to the young man, he tried to yank the machine into the car. Zeke struggled to hold onto the PlayStation. That fight to not be robbed in front of his own home led the teenage girl to reach between her legs and grab a 25 caliber handgun. She fired a shot and the bullet pierced through her boyfriend's hand before finding a mortal spot in the side of Zeke's chest. That night is the reason why Daniel Zeke is dead. It's also the reason why that girl, Kayla Dixon, 18, was sentenced to 40 years in prison as part of a plea deal on Monday. Monday was supposed to be the first day of her trial for her role in the murder of Zietz, according to WSB-TV. Just as jury selection was about to begin, she accepted a plea deal and gave a prepared apology to Zietz's family. Quote, I would trade anything, almost anything, to bring Daniel back, but I know I can't, end quote. Dixon said with a crackling voice, but no visible tears, quote, I know he had plans. I wish I could tell him I'm so, so sorry that this happened, but I can't, end quote. She said she sits in her cell every day thinking about that night. The night she shot Zietz, she and her boyfriend, Nathaniel Vivian, went to the local hospital initially claiming he had been a victim of a crime as an excuse for the wound in his hand. Vivian later admitted to authorities at the hospital what he and Dixon had done, according to Atlanta Journal-Constitution. It was later revealed that the pair had researched how to rob someone. David Lapides, a detective in the case, testified that Dixon and Vivian used their cell phones to plan a robbery and their computers to scheme how to execute one, according to the AJC. Quote, There were numerous text messages between Dixon and Vivian discussing plans to rob someone. They discussed getting the address, how they wanted to do it, to come at him with a gun, surprise him and catch him when he came outside, or to go inside the apartment. These messages went back and forth for a while, end quote. Dixon's baby was taken away and given to relatives. She was eventually tried as an adult. On Monday, her lawyer, Lee Arabasi, shared with the judge that Dixon had a troubled childhood that consisted of rape and relationships with men who were involved in illegal dealings. Abbasi said her client's past doesn't excuse what happened, but it might provide an explanation of why Dixon is where she is now. Look, man, no matter what you do in your life, you're going to have to pay for it, you know. And, and it's a crazy thing that this chick here in Atlanta, which, you know, there's lots of crazy thotties down here, will pull this gun out from between her legs and kill someone, kill a victim. You know, when I first started reading about this story, I thought it was a guy. I thought it was the dude. Cause normally it's the guy who will pull out a gun and kill somebody over something. But this is stupid female who not only killed the victim, shot the guy who was trying to help her steal this, this damn PlayStation. And the reason I bring you guys this news is because you got to be aware. You got to be careful of what's going on out there. If you got a game console, if you got anything, it doesn't matter what it is. If you got something for sale and you want to get rid of it and make a couple extra bucks, don't go to a parking lot. Don't sell it at your home. Don't invite anyone to your home. Never put yourself in a position where this can happen to you because I, I guarantee you this. This kid never thought that that would be his last day alive. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He was thinking about what he was going to do with that money, where he was going to put it, and what he was going to do next. You never know what intentions people have, and a person with nothing to lose will do anything. 
So always protect yourself. This girl, she's got the rest of her life to think about what she did here. And I don't think she deserves any leniency. You know, she killed another kid for a fucking PlayStation. If you guys got something for sale, you do it at a public place. If I could, I would tell you to go to a damn police station to sell your property. That's the best place to go. Because it's getting crazy out here. We got these kids out here now that'll take your life for a piece of plastic that's only worth a few dollars. It's really, really sad. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Does this chick deserve any leniency or should she see every single day of that 40 year sentence? I think she should see every year, man. You took someone's life, you're lucky to even be alive. So I think you should sit in there and think about that for 40 years. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.